don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hidden love. Scanny ass bitch there. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy V Skinner. Gang, it's your boy Cash. It's your boy Young Motherfucker Julian in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. And today, we are here to check out a video from Watch Mojo. Um, we did the uh, Jake Paul. What the fuck did we? We did the Gucci Mane song with him, and then we checked out how uh, Drama Alert. The two hundred fifty thousand yeah, for the feature and shit. That that video. Go watch that shit. That nigga was talking some bullshit. But y'all, y'all was in the comment section telling us to check out. Why everyone hates And that. I just want to say Motherfucking When we checked out that DJ drama Or whatever that nigga's name drama is Drama alert Yeah drama alert shit Motherfucking Y'all niggas going ham Like you dick riding Jay Paul Or something like that Just tell us check out this video But what We was trying to stress Or at least me and myself was Nigga if all y'all got to do In the morning Is wake up and find out What the fuck this nigga's doing And then go type or tweet about it And hate That shit some gay shit, some dick boy shit. Yeah. That's all I was saying. Ain't no one hold nuts. Us, we don't. That shit. We don't know Jake Paul like we like did. personally. We're not, yeah, we're, like we're not fan. We're not sitting here yeah. dick riding and we ain't hating on him. Like we don't giving you a neutral perspective of what the fuck we think is going on. Basically. But nonetheless, we best get yeah. up into the shit. See why he's hated. I fuck with Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> I do the do what I uh, by a man last night who is in the same like community and space as us. This American actor, Vine celebrity, and YouTube star is great at grabbing attention, but it's not always the good kind. I'm going to make absolute sure the company of Team Ted, Jake Paul, Erica Costello, and Megan Zelli pay for what they did to me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons Jake Paul is hated. Are you upset, Logan? <laughs> Before we These things all look like a bunch of douchebags every day yeah. so be sure to subscribe for more great content for this list we're taking a look at the reasons jake joseph paul receives a big thumbs down from most of the civilized world for the record we're not saying we hate him but we understand why people do you was on top what happened mr fit now every video make got my name in it number 10 some of his stunts are stupid and dangerous here we go dirk has beaten senseless with 37 pounds of salami in his all right, well, right there, he, he said Disney, uh, like, hit him up type shit, and he was saying, fuck them. This is proof that this nigga was real life on Disney Channel. I didn't know he really was. But that's some big shit right there. Former role as Dirk Mann uh, on the Disney Channel sitcom. I mean, yeah, it's a, like, yeah, my nigga made it on Disney. I ain't trying to make on Disney getting beat with sausage. You <laughs> feel me? Nigga get beat I'm, with long sausage, my nigga. That's it. Wait, crazy. who get nigga. beat with long sausage? Nigga, nigga fucking rewind the shit. They just said nigga got beat with 37 pounds of sausage. <laughs> Niggas made Disney do that. Dirk has beaten senseless with 37 pounds of salami. Oh, I mean, nah, that's not salami. Dirk Mann on the fucking salami. Tom's bizarre bark. Paul played the star of the fictional show Dare Me Bro, in which he would pull silly stunts in the dare lair. <laughs> Unfortunately, many of the thoughtless stunts he pulled off the set were far from fictional. His attention-grabbing feats of stupidity have often revealed a complete lack of common sense and have endangered him and those around him. As he's been filmed blowing up a car, performing motorcycle stunts at high speeds down city roads, and even setting fire to furniture, which he then tossed into an empty pool at his home, to name a few. Can a nigga not live his yeah, life? I was about to say, fun. like, like y'all honestly sound like some one of them old, you know, them old niggas who own the street, the neighborhood watch yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, Y'all niggas sound like some hating ass Yeah, nigga. like, like, if someone has their music so up, cool. coming home, just living too loud. I, yeah, I'm a dangerous. kind of cop. You're dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. You're about to kill me. Like, That's talking all, about, shut the fuck nigga, up, they bro. literally like, said everything dangerous. But I saw they talk look, about dangerous beat on the motherfucking MTV. If Jack that's the case, all that why shit. niggas race? Going at high speeds on a motorcycle? Shut the all fuck up. The, nigga, niggas probably going like a hundred, hundred, one hundred fifty. All that shit saying? I just saw, I've seen more or less on Robin Big. Yeah. Robin Big anyway. does that shit. He had that I, house and does throw shit all the time. I've seen in the that pool. just with niggas like, in real life like, doing dumb shit. Basically, like, that's, basically they see a young nigga come up and they, they, they trying to find out points to where everybody can hate at. Yeah. Him. But when this comes about, the only people you finna get is the niggas that was born in like the 80s and shit. Basically. No hate. Well, 
All right, this was only the first one. Let us let's this nine more reasons. Let's see if something else changes. Let, let my this, nigga this, live his this life, first bro. One was that was very stupid. Dumb. Yeah, bro. Number nine. Hashtag TCA's cancel Jake Paul. Oh, oh the bro. Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> The Teen Choice Awards is an annual award show that celebrates the biggest successes in everything from music to television to sports. They put us on the Teen Choice Awards. (laughs) However, the fact that Paul won the awards for Choice YouTuber (laughs) and Choice Music Web Star in 2017, not to mention the fact that he hosted the music festival Teen Fest right before the ceremony, gave the internet some serious rage. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel phone. Uh, on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Multiple people slammed the award show for using Paul as a host and for nominating him for awards. Oh, that? Citing him as a... Oh, that? Now, see, that's the second reason. Then that's some hate shit. Not, <laughs> my nigga. You Jake feel Paul me? He can't go bully. out to the fucking hold on, hold on, hold on, show. Hold on, hold on, Jake Paul is a bully, a racist, and a sexist. He can't be up on stage singing his bully song. Not they was they was trying to say his song it, it like it pushed bully violence or the something. The no handlebar? No, not that one. That, oh. That's Logan. Paul. Oh, that's Logan. Uh, his uh, I think it's every day, bro. Oh, every day. Okay. So he said I, chilling something something something. This first line started off with chilling. He ain't bullying nobody. Hold on, it's a the song that Jake Paul and Team Ten are supposed to perform at the Teen Choice Awards 2017 is a bully song. Let's not forget that this is an award show for young people. The song is not appropriate for this show. That's not the right message reason. to give to your younger generation. Where's the reason? Yeah, I was looking reason. for the reason. I done, we done re- haven't we reacted to the motherfucking song? Yeah, I have multiple of the songs. Come on, man. I ain't heard no bully. Come on, man. Yo, that's that fucking pussy it. shit, man. Right. Yo, y'all niggas, fuck, y'all man. niggas fucking. Now, that's the problem with y'all niggas nowadays, that's, dude. Y'all honestly, niggas look for sympathy any type of way, dude. Sound like, like some private school motherfuckers. Motherfucking some bitch, yo. I, I swear, that y'all shit come, gay, y'all. Type niggas. Y'all niggas doing a whole lot of no like bully. bully. No, 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 no bully, bully, dude. This is some real nigga shit. Things. Before long, Twitter was littered with the hashtags TCA's cancel Jake Paul and Teen Choice Awards are over party. Like, it, it, Number it just, eight. It just reasoning. sounds like niggas just want to hate on him. Like, they just have the urge to. And don't. As soon as something bad happens, they're just like, yes, okay, this is what I want. Fuck him. Like, hold on, he treats his posse like a piece of shit. And, but look, don't get this misinterpreted. We is not holding us on Jake Paul. Yeah, because we honestly, don't even we don't, know. We don't, we don't give know a fuck this nigga. about. We don't, like, I don't give a fuck about yeah, this nigga. Honestly, honestly. but I'm just saying, if I was in his footsteps and I was to be reading this shit, I'd be on some like, damn, like why are these niggas holding my nuts? Why so, are they on my but, dick like yeah, this? Dude, like, like, damn, a nigga did some big shit and niggas don't want me to do big shit. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Posse like P O S. Wow. You just want me to look bad on camera? Is that what you want? On January 17th, 2017, I mean, you want to look bad on camera? That didn't even sound bad. With $1 million in financial backing to streamline and promote his brand of teen entertainment. But what is Paul's track record with how he treats the team, who all live together in the Beverly Grove neighborhood of Los Angeles? Pause that. Oh my fucking Pause gosh. that. Y'all know what y'all sound like? Some fucking bitches. Because you know how many fucking celebrities on they niggas run up while they sleep the water on them as a prank? Like, I do hella shit. I swear to God, I swear to God. Yeah, I would be doing like, so much like, nigga, shit. Y'all fucking gang, nigga. Like, y'all do shit. Like, nigga, y'all not just strangers or, you feel me? Like, nigga, she a... My fault. Damn, she a motherfucker. Yeah, dude. This shit got me Kale. pissed, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking shit up already, dude. Kale say he team 10 game. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Real the steel. fuck? I ain't gonna lie. I would freak out over Snake, but I mean, the fuck? It's a girl, first off. So y'all know off rip. I mean, she gonna freak out. For probably what? for a snake. For what? So, she's big. He's big. It's gonna get views. Man. Fuck it. For one. And for two, it's their fucking friends. Like, have y'all not pranked each other before? Damn, three, they you live in me? a big house. It's not like we we up in my crib. Y'all rich. You feel me? I got a small ass crib. You feel me? We we put a snake in that motherfucker. We all late. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Now that shit, nigga, go upstairs. Nigga, go yeah, you, got, you, got, you can run. You, know you can run away and shit, nigga. It ain't like you trapped in the motherfucking room with the shit, Yo, nigga. This is a bunch of dick bite. I wish you could have seen the other video we watched, nigga. By fucking drama alert, nigga. Bunch of of dick biting, like. Hard nigga. Hard nights. Got the baseball glove <laughs> puffing. For real. Well, since then, Paul has been in the spotlight a lot thanks to everything from annoying and condescending behavior to straight up rude conduct. 
From the way he wakes up his teammates, to shouting matches with friends, to shoving female team members, to setting fires in the rooms of fellow teammates. Okay. Dab, 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 dab. Number seven, he writes so many diss tracks. He's writing diss tracks, y'all are fucking making diss videos on him, like, yeah, what up. the fuck? y'all niggas in the same boat. If not that, the same alley going the same For direction. Real. So what you saying? They want me to lose. A diss track is a song that serves to attack, disrespect, or insult a person or a group of people. While these are a common occurrence in the music world, especially in the hip hop genre, Paul may have gone just a little too far with his tracks. Between dissing his older brother Logan, help me, help you, make a better song, bitch. Yeah. Numbers don't lie. No. The Logan is shit. His ex girlfriend Alyssa Violet. I'm talking about you. close to him in song and his regular posts on his YouTube channel. I, 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 Alright, for one, him dissing his brother. What the fuck? So fucking what? Yeah. They're both fucking fa celebrities on YouTube. They know what the fuck they're doing. They probably they probably sent each other to this track like, oh, okay, yeah, this hot, bro. Like, And what the fuck? He's talking about his girl. So what? Y'all just said, heard him say she was tweeting. Y'all is not dick riding her about the shit. What the fuck? Why can't he put it in the song? It's really a bunch of nut holes. It's gotta make you wonder. For a guy who encourages his viewers to quote, dab on them haters, what's with all the hate? And dab on them haters. And dab on them haters. Number six, he is a racist. Oh uh, shit, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is what the fuck we was wondering if he was racist, if, cause y'all was saying that if we watch some shit, we ain't gonna like him. We was wondering, is he racist? So. You wanna be honest? Okay. If he racist. It has to be, a, you know what I'm saying? It, like, we can't be like, oh, if this nigga said nigga. Or, you know, nigga, yeah, no. dumbass shit. I mean, if he say nigga, you know dude, it's 2017. Yeah, I'm about not to be 28. No, but I'm saying, I feel like that's what the fuck's about to come about. Some dumb shit. Like, I do feel like it is. And if it is, well, you just heard it from my mouth. So let's get it. I'm, a, I'm from Kazakhstan, the region, but oh, it sounds like you're just going to blow someone up. As a oh, shit. All right, okay. I mean, that wasn't race to black that, people, but that was that, pretty. That shit was funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I, was, I was at it. I was if I was funny. in the car, nigga, I would have been weak. I, I probably would have laughed. laughed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I probably would have that is racist. That shit, like, a freaking boom. <laughs> That's just crazy. <laughs> this is very stereotypical. It's sick. But look, it's oh, 2017, bro. That don't make him a racist, though. That makes him stereotypical. That don't make him a racist. Jake Paul is a role model to teens everywhere, as unfortunate as that may be. So it makes Paul's reported casual racism and ethnic jokes all the more cringeworthy. Yeah, my nigga In a shocking up, revelation, yeah, he was that, caught on film comparing a starstruck Kazakh fan to a terrorist, where he urged him to, quote, send the nuke. Send the nuke! Although he's been careful since then with what he's no. talking about. Yo! Drop that bitch, guys. Yo! <laughs> Alright, Yeah, that, that shit is just, that, that's pretty racist. Old that's, that's tweets fun. on his Twitter that's account have surfaced that's revealing fun. Paul's supposed liberal use of racial Old slurs, you. not to mention homosexual slurs and other inappropriate and offensive These niggas pulling up shit from Number 2012 five, and 2013. Number one of the worst songs of 2017. Alright, look, oh, look. How many of y'all niggas cuss today? How many of y'all niggas do a whole lot of shit? Ain't even worth pausing the video for. It. That I'm just like, saying, but like, but like niggas be on this nigga like that shit right there was like point like this a whole lot of these. If this the case, points is pointless, to bro. Like real yeah, man, real nigga, I'm a fucking villain, like, like criminal nigga. If, shit. If the this fuck? is what y'all are making him out to be, nigga, it's a whole lot worse out here. For a real. whole lot. Artists can release a song that isn't well received, but you can release a song that's considered this bad. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. With terrible singing, sloppy lyrics, and a message that resonates with almost nobody, this professionally produced track by Jake Paul and Team nice 10, celebrating out. their fame and bank accounts, has nevertheless garnered a lot of attention, with over 97 million views and counting on YouTube. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. Of course, much of the attention is far from positive, with over 2 million thumbs down on YouTube. 
It's every day, bro. Yeah, it's really also well, one of the top ten here. most disliked videos on the entire video sharing website as of August 2017, and has inspired a number of mocking parodies. Number four, oh, that's a the shared Post Malone's address. Now they always say congratulations. We're so Doxing, defined as, quote, publishing private or identifying information about an individual on the internet isn't necessarily legal in many places. It's also generally disrespectful, reckless, and can even be dangerous. This is his house. He's got like Rolls Royces and whatnot. Naturally, as right, one more entry on the list of things yeah, Jake Paul's done that he shouldn't yeah. yeah. he decided that's to visit bad. rapper and record producer Post Malone, who released his debut album in 2016, to give him some Team 10 merchandise. Thank you, sir. It's good stuff, right? That's some good stuff, man. It's like a guy. So, uh, but I just... Although that was all fine and dandy, Post he Malone also decided like to some secretly white film mom, Malone. So that in the process day, uh, revealed <laughs> his home and address in what's been described as a severe breach of privacy for the musician. I mean, he's lucky that Austin's a nice guy because he could be, he should have shot him or he should be suing him for this. Number three, All he right. used to be a bully. I have one question for you. Yeah. What are those? <sighs> are you kidding me? I do that shit do, all the time. I was about to say, I so many people song. used to do that shit. Nigga, I used to fall back and call scenes in the middle of the night. Niggas would do that shit Nigga, to I me did, all the damn time, cause you know what I'm saying. I, I did fuck put him in a shoes, coffin on but, so many of uh, people's cars. What are you talking about, nigga? I had to pay a thousand dollars. Oh my god, I was there, motherfucker. I remember that. I shit. seen the video of, of that yeah. shit. Yo, what do you mean? You I was recorded walked, it. I was I walking out. Yes. We was all walking out of school, nigga. I, nigga, we was, we was leaving, all nigga. Walking and I was out, like, nigga. I swear I'll put him in a coffin. He was like, you better. He's like, I bet you ain't gonna do it. This dude was like, nigga, nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. I was like, nigga, who won't? Boom! Like thousand dollars worth of hood damage. And he just laid on it that. Is it that or fucking char face charges? Yeah, that that's on the crazy. camera. They call me on the camera in midair hitting that thing. That that's shit was too funny. Fun. On oh, my Von Mar shit. Free my nigga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But but yo, it, why is he being singled out in this for this shit? Oh, well, let's see if it's some more raised bullying. in Ohio, Paul's early if life this is the bullying, this is making me mad. Up until the mid 2010s, at least. Being a big advocate for anti-bullying in his posts, and having allegedly helped victims of bullying and others who are less fortunate, by his own admission, it seemed as if maybe his childhood would reveal a softer side to the obnoxious social media star. Then came the allegations from peers in Ohio, reaching back to the fifth grade, that Paul himself had been a loudmouthed bully. Among the many things he was accused of were making See, reveal a softer side to the these. obnoxious social media over. star. Then came the allegations from... My mom back in fifth grade, he's just a bully. He won't succeed in life. My little fifth grade bully now, no joke. Uh. Well, obviously, he probably wasn't a bully. He's just soft. Yeah, like, so to, you wasn't soft, sorry, nigga. But damn, my nigga. He, he was probably Dude, typing, nigga, you got knocked down. Said, your mom room. lied to you? Your Man. mom lied to you? It's crazy. Yo, this is... From peers in Ohio. A I fifth grade. Fifth grade. But Paul oh, yeah, hold on. Where was y'all back when I was in the yeah. lunchroom stopping kids from getting bullied? Jake Paul was literally bullied. Ask anyone from here. Says so Jake Paul made a song about the hate. I really cannot believe my ears. And the had been a loud mouth bully. <laughs> Among the many things he was. Jake Paul's lunch table was straight up right next to mine, and all he did was play loud music off his speaker and shout. That just sounds like a typical. This sounds like we're going and everybody else. Bitch, no, it don't. Yeah, right, I don't be. I don't be. I had the worst. I don't be shouting. I be cool. Uh, all right, we did, but not me. Y'all had the words like niggas ain't. I, I wasn't was yelling. Cool. I was this nigga cool. Kels, oh, this nigga Kels got yeah, bitch loud as hell. hell. Like, no, no, for why, real, why they got flex. I be cool. <laughs> I came in there with the hat head. You know, you know. <laughs> his accused were making a ruckus in the cafeteria, blasting music in class, riding his bike over people's cars, and dumping people's bags in the garbage. And I would have did it more. Number two, he was emotionally abusive to his girlfriend. They were a couple the internet obsessed over. Releasing playful videos her. featuring them together, Paul and Alyssa Violet's relationship even produced a couple name, Jalissa. And fiction number one, Jalissa. However, what was going on behind the scenes was apparently far from playful. 
In a tell-all after the breakup, his now ex-girlfriend Violet accused him of playing mind games with her, telling her he loved her one day and then saying that he hated her guts the next. Brings more girls over and then he would be with me and then he would have a girl over and then two days later he'd be with me and then we'd be together and then we'd not be together. She, she accused him of Violet. cheating on her with other girls, kicking her out when she had nowhere to go and being responsible for night after night of tears. So I would just go upstairs to my bathroom or my bedroom and I would just cry myself to sleep like night after night. Number one, he is a bad neighbor. It's a busy street, and there's a lot of cars that drive it. And this is the kids are not aware of the bite. fact that cars are coming and going. While many of Paul's stunts, actions, and words have annoyed, offended, or hurt his fans, his teammates, and others, there's no group that's likely as affected as his neighbors. After revealing the location of his home to his this fans, young, his rich block kid. has become a scene like, of, of course. chaos. Complete the with fuck? continuous noise, turmoil, dangerous stunts, and armies of fans hoping for a meet and greet with the star. As well as police responding He's to He's a fucking young celebrity. We're on a nice quiet street, and now we're just this, like, war zone. We're families here, and we're more than well, happy you know, to have them all here if they're respectful of their neighbors, but they're not. Bitch. There is talk of a class action lawsuit against the young sensation. It was hating them and are considering a class action lawsuit. Yeah, As a public right nuisance. While Paul seems to view the situation more jovially, I think he needs to build his own. Terrible. House. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them, yeah. for sure. Uh, you can tell him to do that. The Jake Paul is the strongest army out there. Yeah. <laughs> I have one yeah, question for you. Yeah. 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 Oh, he did that to the news reporter. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other picks. Oh, videos. that's why they I said he was a bully. I mean, yeah, I they came out trying to... Fuck up all my shit, nigga. Yeah, I'll, I'll flame you out there, it. too. How y'all think... How y'all expect a nigga to act, though, when all y'all do is hold his nuts? Like, like for real. I, my nigga's just well, trying to live his how life. How do y'all expect, like, <laughs> a young nigga to act, like, for him to get all this money and really be out there to afford shit? Like, nigga, if and I could, if I could afford shit, I would be out pissing my neighbors off too like the fuck i'm out living life my hey, neighbors can't do that y'all niggas what ever heard fuck? of black youngster dude that's just a prime example of what money can do and yeah. ignorance like it, it don't matter yeah. like what the fuck nigga that like is niggas that just is got ignorant. money you feel me and do what the fuck they want to do y'all niggas hating on this nigga like for what because y'all niggas ain't got it i don't know if if y'all got a better reason or i don't know if this is 10 reasons and these shits is why i don't know if y'all got something else but the way I see it, I'm rocking with motherfucking Jake Paul. Shout out to motherfucking Jake Paul. Shout out to Team Ten. Uh, make sure y'all like, Thank comment, you. subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. Gang. We out this I'm famous with the chicken and the biscuits. I feel like Bojangles with his grease. I be dripping. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I dripped on my shoes. Now them hoes really kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I feel like Bojangles with the chicken and the biscuits. Uh. Yeah, bitch, I got the chicken in the business world running for and fast. I fucked around and got a ticket. Never been the type of nigga flexing for some bitches. If I'm piecing some shit that I want, then I'ma get it.